QuickBooks Online 2021 Custom Invoice Import Form from Word Document. Here we are in our QuickBooks Online practice problem where we've been talking about setting up our custom invoices. Last time setting up a custom invoice with the use of the QuickBooks settings to do so. Now we're thinking about some more options that you might be able to have to do further customizations, which could be the actual importing of a template for the invoice so let's go back up top in the cog up top this is where we had the custom form styles that's where we added our custom invoice typically the drop down if you hit the drop down up top will not have the import there yet unless you turn on a future we'll talk about in a second but we'll have the invoice estimate sales receipt we made a custom invoice here this is the invoice that we used or we created and then we use the set features within into it in order to make our custom invoice we see on the right now those set features have have a good deal of functionality but nowhere near you know the types of functionality that you could have to customize an invoice there's pros and cons to that of course because the less features that you have the less confusing it is which is nice but if you wanted to do some added types of things like put more images like on the bottom of this thing or background images or just move things around a little bit more or a lot more you can you could try to use some other kind of options for example possibly uploading an invoice so let's just take a look at that briefly i won't go into it a lot of detail i'm not a designer here but if you, it might be worth looking into if you're in an industry where you feel the invoice and the look and feel of it is really important to you and and you know how how it re interacts with your client as opposed to if you're in an industry where the invoice to you is more more of a functionality type of thing as opposed to you know the look and feel of it being really important so i'm going to i'm going to exit this without saving the feature you can turn on if you go to the widget up top and we go to the quickbooks lab on the left hand side under your company this is where kind of some of the new stuff that will be put in play uh will be put in play here and you can turn on some of these items so you want to check this out every once in a while some of the stuff has been in there for some time but uh and and then they kind of test it out and possibly pull it into the the major features at some later time and some of it may be new so what we're looking to here is the import is the import style so it says now you can uh, spice up your brand with your own invoice design import your dot d doc x that's a word document basically file from word tell us which field to replace and voila your brand is yours again so you can then watch the demo here in order to see a, a quick demo on it if you so choose if you turn that on then then you have the option of the importing. So if I close this back out, and I'm going to close this back out now, if we went to the cog, for example, and we went to the, uh, the forms, custom form styles, which is where we are at, that's when you hit the drop down and you'll see the import here. We can import the style. So now the thing is we can then get an invoice from basically design it in Word, where we have more features to do so, and then possibly invoice or import that into... Uh, the QuickBooks system. So there's then the question is, well, how do I customize it in Word? And obviously you could look up some uh, templates and possibly pay for templates. So if you Google search or do your search in your favorite browser for custom templates, you can look there or you can start with a basic template within Word, a free template within Word, and then make adjustments to that. So let's take a look at that option. Let's open up Word. And then you can open up a template by going to the, to the file. I'm going to say new item here. And then I'm just going to type in invoice. Invoice. And then we have our basically our, our different types of designs we can have for an invoice. You can see some of these are, are fairly basic. But they, they do have a different look and feel than what is provided. And anything with an extended kind of image or something like that. Like this green or possibly this whole bar on, on the left hand side. Uh, is something that you, you know might not see in the normal templates in Word. And again, the fact that it is outside the box could make it, uh, you know, desirable, make you stand apart. You know, it could give you a lot more functionality if you're a bookkeeper and you're good at this kind of stuff. Then that might make you stand apart for for certain types of clients that are that really like this, right? So then, I, if I was to create, say, this one, and open this one up. Here's going to be our standard type of invoice. Now, when we upload it, anything that we want to be populated to change, we want it to kind of match into a field that's going to be dynamic. In uh, QuickBooks, we got to put what they call the chevrons around it. So this information up top, for example, uh, to the invoice is going to, and then the name, 
we might want to put we've got to put these little brackets around it and hopefully then that will allow us to pick up a new field uh, within QuickBooks. So then we got the company name. So same thing. We'll put the little, the, what they call the chevrons around it. I believe they call them. And so we'll put this around it. And that means it's going to pick up the company name that we're, we're selling to the street address. So we'll put these around there, around the street address, city, state, and zip code. Now these might not all be in one, you know, you might have to put chevrons around the city and then the state and then the zip code. Not quite sure, but uh, this is, those are the things we have to kind of uh, check out or compare and contrast. And then the ID number. So let's put ID number. Let's go. Dun. And then here. And here, and then maybe like this should be invoice number. Invoice, let's say number, and I'll call it invoice number here. I'm just gonna call it an invoice number. Invoice number, and then due, due date, and then your company name. Now this is fairly static because it's gonna be your company name. So I'm not going to put the chevrons around this because we could just type that in there as our company name, our address, and so on and so forth. And here's the invoice number. So maybe this one is where I should have put. So uh, invoice number, I'll put the chevrons here. Invoice number and chevron and then date. So I'm going to put chevron date. Or, you, you know, you might have date as a text and then the chevrons for the date. That's not a chevron. That's not a chevron. Date, chevron, and then, and then the thank you for your business and so on and so forth. And I think we want here the quantity and then I'm going to put here description description and then unit price so we'll put chevron unit price and then total chevron total so we'll do that and then down here I'm going to do the same thing I'm just going to say this should be the subtotal this is going to be the tax sales tax and then this is going to be the total so total okay so i'm going to keep it there and we'll test it out with this so i'm going to save this i'm going to go to file save as put it somewhere where i know where it's at and i'm going to put it into this picture file which is my temporary file for some reason this is going to be invoice template i would say two and then let's save that and let's try importing it now. So I'm going to go back on over to QuickBooks and let's close this out. So once again, when I'm in the, the drop down for the cog. I'm in the uh, invoice, the custom form styles. And then I'm going to say new style and import a style. Import some style. Uh, so I'm going to say invoice form. So first time importing an invoice, learn how to set up your, your doc file. So you probably want to do more research on that than I put here. I'm going to do this pretty quickly here. I'm not an expert on the design type of things, but I just want to point out this option because again, I think it could be really nice for some people that want to put in the time for it. So start with a template. A simple template can be found in the import guide. Uh, before you up before you upload open your file and add angle brackets angle brackets these things is around each field you want quickbooks to replace so those are the ones that we got to replace items with that we tried to go through and pick those up and a little trial and error is probably going to be necessary here to 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 get your design right and and get it in here properly so invoice template number 2 let's go ahead and say next here so next uh, there are fields that are not correctly mapped. So this is where you got to go through and do the mapping 
type of information obviously anything with a with a red area they're saying hey i can't map that i wasn't able to to do the mapping for it you know, I'm going to turn on, I want to map my template. If you use the, the mapping that's going to be in the keys in the, in the template, then it'll make it a lot easier. You won't have to do as much of this kind of mapping type of stuff here. But I'm going to say, I'm going to turn this on and see if I can match up the fields as close as I can. And we'll just, we'll just get as close as we can. And that's going to be it. So, and I'm going to go down here and say, this is the invoice number. So I'm looking invoice number invoice date so there it is i don't know why it couldn't find that it seems like that wasn't too difficult and then uh, name customer client member so i'll keep that the fine and then the company business organization i'll keep that and this is going to be the street address uh, this is the the name customer name and then company name this is the company name I think it should be the customer name here company name customer name the street for the customer notice we have the company name there so instead of just hard coding the co the company name because you would think the company name wouldn't change so you might want to hard code it but if you did change your company name in quickbooks then you would want it to change so you can make that feel possibly adjustable as well and so the the billing address i'll keep that as is the phone customer client member name. Let's pick up the phone number. See if we can pick up the phone. How about telephone? Tell. I'll keep it at the at the customer phone, and then the invoice number. Invoice number. I believe we had that was pretty straightforward. That one. Item. Uh, dis item description unit price so i'm going to say price rate we'll keep there the total so invoice total due okay subtotal subtotal invoice and then sales tax tax rate let's do that and then the total I'm going to keep it like this. Again, you probably want to do some, some trial and error, and it would, it would make it easier if we downloaded the templates and we tried to make these, these names that are going to be in the bracketed area for those fields that would change as close as possible as what they recommend them to be so that you have to do less mapping when you go into it. But again, you're probably going to have to go back and forth a little bit to map this, this thing out uh, exactly. But you can see how the process works hopefully here. And then I'm going to say next. And then we're going to preview the information. And then if there's any changes you need to make, I think you're going to need to make them before you save it because then you got you can't go back in to do the same type of customization. Then you'll have the basically saving item here and then you should have basically your new template. Now, once again, our template was not beautifully crafted here. It's going to take more intensive work to do this. You've got to be more a bit, bit more of a designer to do that. That's why the default template information is done with uh, with the default designer but again if you want to put more time into it there's there's that tool that gives you that bit more flexibility if you're looking at this designer tool within quickbooks and saying hey i wish i could do this i wish i could add a background or an image or move this around in a different way then you could you can look into that with more detail and you should be able to do so but again it'll take a little bit more time to, to get that to line up